Hello, my name is Annie Willett and I'm a sophomore at the University of Arkansas. And I found some awesome art not too far away from my hometown that I'm going to share with you. My family currently lives in a suburb of Dallas, but I grew up in a town called Sanford, Florida, which is a little suburb of Orlando, so I consider that my hometown. About a 20 minute drive from the house I grew up in is the Orlando Museum of Art, where I found a really cool collection called the Contemporary American Graphics Collection, which features artists like Andy Warhol, Jennifer Bartlett, and Chuck Close, who's the artist of the piece that I'm going to share with you today. This graphic here is called Leslie Fingerprint, and it is one of a series of 45 hand-printed copies of the original 9-foot fingerprint painting, and this particular one was the 12th one done in 1986. The original painting and the series of graphics that came after it are just a few examples of how creative and experimental Chuck Close's artistic career is. Chuck Close dedicated his career to putting a twist on the contemporary style of art by experimenting with some obscure techniques like collage, Jap Japanese woodblock printing, and fingerprint painting, which is what he used to create his original 9-foot Leslie fingerprint painting. Close was influenced by the photorealism movement of the 60s and 70s, and his work reflects that, but his goal is always to surpass just drawing and painting copies of photographs by drawing inspiration from the mechanical processes that the camera itself actually goes through to create a photograph. So he created his own methodical multi-step process for creating paintings. What he does is he uses a grid that allows him to scale his work, usually to the nine foot ceilings of his Manhattan loft, and does his work square by square to recreate a photograph while also using some of his experimental techniques to give the art an extra touch. With this method, Close has painted hundreds of faces from photographs that he's taken, and they're usually of fellow artists, friends, family, and himself. All his paintings are unique, and they all have a different eccentric quality. He does this by tweaking his process here and there to bring each piece just a step above simple photorealism. In this particular work, Close created the original Leslie fingerprint by using his grid technique, but painting everything with his fingerprints and ink and he managed to capture the realism of the picture that he took of his wife, Leslie. Then, he recreated this painting 45 times with different techniques like etching, engraving, and drawing, and the graphic that is in the Orlando Museum of Art was done by etching a scaled version of the original onto paper. So, from a formal approach, we have a lot to talk about here. He achieves line, perspective, and shape in interesting ways. He doesn't actually draw any lines. Originally, he layered his fingerprints just right, to separate the different shapes and to give the appearance of line and the illusion of depth in her features. And then, in this graphic, he etched the individual fingerprints. The composition is fairly simple. We see Leslie's face, her head, neck, and shoulders, but the detail is anything but. The balance is asymmetrical because a real human face obviously is not perfect and symmetrical. Close does a great job at using value to create the perspective, the shape, and detail in this graphic and the texture that results from his recreation of the fingerprints is so complex. Close's work is great for examining in an autobiographical context. Most of it is of important people in his life, and the strict process that he uses in his art reflects how he has dealt with hardships in his life. He made it through grad school at Yale, battling dyslexia, and he has been partially paralyzed due to a stroke since 1988. Overcoming these difficulties requires discipline, structure, and routine, just like his grid process. Leslie, Leslie Fingerprint, particularly the original, is exceptionally autobiographical. It seems so intimate to paint your wife's face using your fingers, so it brings to mind the image of him caressing her face. A long road has led to Close's unique style of art, starting with early 19th century realism, photography itself, pop art, and the photorealism movement of the 60s and 70s. Add in Close's own quirky interpretations and you have some pretty cool art. I'm a creative writing major and a dancer, so I really enjoy literature and the arts in general. Contemporary art fascinates me, and as someone with no artistic talent, I think photorealism and realism are so incredible, and that's why I was drawn to this graphic. And the fact that it was done with fingerprints was a really nice plus. I love the intimacy of this work, and knowing all the painstaking effort that went into creating it makes it even more beautiful.